Hi, I'm Heather, and I'm here with my beautiful friend Tara. We, Hi. <laughs> we are going to cook for you today. Um, we've got our friend over here, Scarlett. She's actually an in-house registered dietitian for Growing Naturals. So she's going to help us. Hi, Scarlett. <laughs> she's going to help us with all that we need to know. We have plenty of questions. Mm -hmm. I know you do. I do, definitely. Yeah. So in the process of this webisode series, we've been, um, as you may know, I'm a, I'm a fitness expert, nutrition expert, but there's still so much that's always evolving and ever changing. Mm -hmm. And it's a constant you know, journey of learning new things. So I'm learning about going vegan because I've always been a meat and potatoes kind of girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about you? Well, you know, you and I have been talking, and the thing for me is I legitimately, like I would love to go vegan, but my big question is what do I eat when I'm really hungry. Yeah. Because you know, I never think of vegans as having like hearty meals. I always mm -hmm. think of like quinoa and pine nuts. Like that's not going to fill me. Yeah. So that's my big question. Like what do you eat as a yeah. vegan right. when you're really hungry? And what do you think, Scarlett, is like the, mm -hmm. the kind of taboo, what, what people think about um, vegans from your experience? Um, I think that they think that it's very a difficult thing to do. Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, really not. I think one of the main things that you have to do is to focus on what you can eat rather than all the foods that you can't eat. Um, and there's plenty of variety there, um, and I'm sure we'll get into that later. Um, but yeah, that's one of the main things I think that you need to focus on is what you can eat rather than what you can't. Um, and then obviously taking time to, to plan um, because that's a challenge and, and going vegan can be either one of the healthiest things you can do for mm -hmm. your life or one of the oh. unhealthiest things you can oh, do. Oh, like just eating Ooh, fries and chips all day long <laughs> and calling it vegetables? Super high exactly. starches. Exactly. See, I exactly. always thought that being a vegan meant you're eating like leaves and nuts, mm -hmm. and that's what you're limited to, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, but maybe you can let us know. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, I mean, some people think that they can automatically, well, not automatically, but they just imagine, you know, removing any meat, but then all of a sudden they replace it with just uh, potato chips or exactly. just cereal, mm -hmm. things yeah. that don't have all the nutrients that you mm -hmm. need. They don't necessarily think about fruits and vegetables. So right. that's one of the big goals, I think, is, is to focus on the healthier types of plant-based foods, the whole totally. plant-based foods, like your fruits and vegetables, your whole grains, uh, your beans, uh, your nuts and seeds, all of those things are, are great replacements um, and they're going to help you get yeah. the nutrients that you're not getting exactly. um, from the animal products yeah. and the animal meats. Well, good. And we have, we have a big gift for everybody today. We're actually going to be making recipes that are more comfort foods. You Good. know, and That's more exactly hearty what I meals. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know as a fitness expert, it's so important that we have things prepared so that we're not going mm -hmm. into crisis and like blood sugar crashing and grabbing the first thing that we see, yeah. you know. So I'm a big fan of make a big pot of something or use a cookie sheet, mm -hmm. you know, and bake it or broil a, you know, a whole cookie sheet full of things and keep it in your fridge to like mm -hmm. grab, heat it up and yeah. go, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to start off with your falafel, is, how do you say it, falafel? Well, it's your, it's actually your high protein falafel <laughs> recipe. Awesome. Yeah. So let's, let's get into it. Um, you want to help yeah. me with some of these ingredients Absolutely. here? Absolutely. I know we're not using these carrots, but I can start chopping away. Okay. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. We have chickpeas okay. there. Let me get you a, um... And then I have a metal strainer as well. Awesome. We could do the metal strainer. See, here's the other thing. We've been actually cooking for a while, and what you guys aren't catching is how good everything smells. <laughs> and I know for me, as someone who's interested in going vegan, I never think of that, that like rich aroma, yeah. that comforting smell. So exactly. you can actually have that as a vegan. So, and I'm going to grab the, we're going to do uh, one and a half cup of chickpeas. And um, okay. in this recipe, she used canned. Now, Scarlett, what is the big difference between um, using fresh chickpeas and canned chickpeas or beans or whatever it might be? 
Um, for falafels, I think the main difference is just the texture. Yeah. Uh, the canned chickpeas, uh, you know, are obviously boiled to a certain mm-hmm. point where they get kind of really soft. Right. And so it, falafel is a bit of a smoother okay. texture, uh-huh. um, which is fine. You're still getting the same nutrients, you know, but traditionally falafels are made with uh, dry chickpeas that are soaked overnight for 24 hours. Right, right, right. So Cilantro. I um, I have a friend who is a vegan and um, I went to her house one day and she had this like bowl full of, you need this? Um, should we wash it? I so will. <laughs> I Ew. So, no you don't dirt. Want to, like fine little. Yeah, no, no dirt for me. No way. Here's the cilantro. No is dirt that, for me. Thank you. Is that more nutrients if you eat a caterpillar or a little? I bug? think so. Like more protein. <laughs> they're they're actually tastier here. Ew. Um, but I don't want any. So I actually saw uh, this bowl full of these beans sitting in water in her fridge. Do you know why she was doing that? Uh, sprouting? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Maybe, yeah. All right. I, I trust your judgment. Uh, beans and grains, and, and basically what that does is to kind of quote unquote loosen up the carbohydrates. Oh. Um, and, and makes it a bit easier to digest. Um, I know. When you uh, soak beans, for example, like the chickpeas, Uh um, chickpeas and anything bean related or lentils, uh, they tend to contain quite a bit of fiber Mm -hmm. and that fiber can sometimes make you very bloated and gassy. And so so soaking them them overnight can kind of help to kind of pre-digest those fibers Uh so they're not as hard on your stomach and they won't cause um, as much uh, gassiness. Okay. So I um, I do know that I've heard people complain about like the bloated gut and Don't it's want that. just miserable. It's not hot. You know, they tried um, they tried to go vegan and they, they looked like they were uh, pregnant. Mm-hmm, you know, they were cute. in so much pain. Um, but that's interesting. So, yeah. So let's not do it, Scarlett. Right? Will you go? I will. Um, so we had three scoops of this. And today we actually were improvising. I didn't have we're the rice so protein. Improvising. <laughs> I didn't have the rice protein, so I have the pea protein. Um, yeah, and there's a big difference well. with that. There should be three tablespoons, though. Okay. Unless we're making a, a bigger batch. No, we're gonna we're gonna follow your directions as much as possible because I, I like how you think. So we have three tablespoons. That's this guy. All right. And how did you come up with this? Are you just kind of like a mad scientist in the in the kitchen? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, well, I was just thinking you know, about certain vegetarian or, or, or vegan meals that people eat, and, mm-hmm. and falafels is definitely one that came to mind. Mm-hmm. Um, as a vegetarian or vegan um, meal that people may have, uh, and I thought, you know, why not boost the protein content a little more? Um, right. I think regularly chickpeas have about uh, 8 or 10 grams of protein in them, and I said, you know, even adding just one tablespoon of, of the pea protein can add about five or six grams of protein. So that's a big boost. Right. Um, so I don't know. I just feel like it, it would make it a little more more satisfying, I think, if you were to add more protein. Yeah. That's one of the, the, the beautiful things about protein is that it helps to keep you full. Um, totally. and so that's why I guess I, I thought about this recipe, you know, boosting the protein content to kind of just – help it um, keep you more satisfied and also give you more nutrients, which which vegans definitely need um, to be keen about getting enough protein. Uh-huh. Not that you can't get it from plant-based sources. You certainly can get all the protein that you need from plant-based sources, but you definitely need to be conscientious about the amount that you're getting. And I think a lot of people don't realize how much protein is actually in legumes. Legumes being like the peas and beans and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A lot of protein in there. I mean, 
That's definitely one of the main protein sources for vegans and vegetarians. Is I would say um, beans, legumes, lentils, all of that. So we have one and three quarters of chickpeas, um, three quarters cilantro leaves. We three have quarter parsley. three quarters parsley mm -hmm. fresh. We have three tablespoons. We're keeping that separate. We're gonna do half a small yellow onion uh, and a tablespoon of minced garlic. So we want to. We already preheated the oven to four hundred degrees. Um, drain the liquid from the can of chickpeas into a small bowl and set aside. We have that here. Um, place all ingredients except for the protein, the uh, protein powder into a processor and process. So I don't actually have a processor. We're going to go old school. <laughs> we're, gonna, like, we're doing this old fashioned <laughs> way. As a tribute to my mom. Like people used to do things. <laughs> so we're going to do a mixing bowl with a little mixer. Um, okay. So processor and process until smooth. If it's not mix mixing well, add liquid from the chickpeas, one tablespoon at a time, just enough to help it mix. Then add the rice protein and process until thoroughly combined. The dough should be pretty thick and try uh, and dry so that you can form the balls or patties. And try not to cry when you cut the onions. <laughs> <laughs> so one time I was cooking at home with my, my mom and um, I came up with this very inventive idea that I put um, ski goggles on. Okay, that would work. <laughs> but it's, it gets like that though. <laughs> it made quite the fashion statement, but we're not gonna do that today. Oh, cool. Um, so bake. You guys, this is awesome. It feels like Thanksgiving in here right now. I know. Well, Thanksgiving in Southern California, right? The fa my favorite kind. <laughs> okay. No, I grew up in New York City, so I'm very used to like the the snow and the rain and just the intense t intensity of the seasons during the holidays. So I, I actually prefer this. Yeah. Where in, um, in New York did you grow up? I was born in Brooklyn. I grew up in Queens. I lived oh. in Manhattan. I went to college in the city. So like all the well, boroughs. Yeah. yeah. Very Except for cool. Staten Island. Charlotte, where are you from? Um, I actually was raised in Miami, Florida, which is sunny and That's summery amazing. all year long. Nice. <laughs> and then after school, I uh, moved to California and was there for three years. Uh -huh. And now I am in South Dakota. <laughs> South Dakota. Is it cold there yet? Say again? Is it cold there yet? Not yet. It's starting to cool off. Just now it's uh, 43 this morning, so oh, it's getting geez. chillier in the in the no. morning, but it still goes up to 70 or 80 oh in the afternoon. Goodness. How so, are the chickens? It, I, yes, I have chickens. Uh, how are the chickens? <laughs> <laughs> the chickens are awesome. They love the cold weather. How many chickens do you have? Six. <laughs> See? Do you have goats and cows too? No, just chickens and a puppy. You guys, uh -huh. I'm so crying now. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm You're having I'm feeling. having onion sadness right now. <laughs> I literally I am crying it. right now. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Okay, so we have minced garlic. We need the cumin. Here, do you want to do the cumin? Yeah. We need um, half a teaspoon of cumin. Okay. And then we need a um, teaspoon of coriander seeds. I've never cooked with coriander seeds. What can you tell me about them? They're like a mystery to me. Um, coriander seeds are actually the same as it's a, the same it version the same? of what is that? Is it cumin? I think it is cumin actually. Cumin. So the seeds are just the seed version of cumin that's when you spin. ground them. I think that's what it is. Is that what I'm thinking of correctly? I can't remember right now. Um, I actually had never cooked with the whole seed either, um, but it definitely gives it that flavor. Yeah. That for, for the falafel, that like distinct falafel flavor. So it's mostly for the, the zest, the, the flavor in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scarlet, it doesn't have, have superpowers. Kim, <laughs> coriander doesn't have like a superpower or anything like that. It's not going to make my skin glow or... It may. <laughs> Seeds are definitely uh, rich in uh, phytonutrients and uh -huh. minerals. So every little plant-based uh, source of yeah, food or anything is going to definitely help 
um, your overall health. I like it. Where's the zester? So, um, we don't have a zester. Nice! <laughs> nice! <laughs> right? I love it. I know, huh? I will create a zest. Um, what about this? this that is thing. not tiny, though. Can that you do not, it tiny? Well, I can, I can, um, yeah, I can, actually. <laughs> So we were, we were having this private conversation before we chimed you in about um, like when, when you start to go on that path of going vegan, um, what is it that people are mostly missing? I was going to ask Nutrients. you that. Yeah, we, I'm really curious about that. What do people um, forget? I mean, it's not so, there's definitely a few nutrients that that you need to uh, be mindful of or more mindful of when you're going vegan. Um, and one of the ones that we talked about was protein. Um, another one would be vitamin B12. Okay. Um, that's that's a definitely a big one for, for vegans or for going vegan. So how do I get vitamin B12? How do I get vitamin B12 out of like the natural goodness? Um, I don't, well, uh, nutritional yeast, for one thing, is, uh, is a good source of vitamin B12. Uh -huh. um, actually, there, there's a lot of talk that um, things like seaweeds, their nori or spirulina, uh, spirulina contain B12. But while they do contain B12, it's not the active form of B12, so oh. it doesn't really count towards your daily needs. Okay. Well, there is a lot of research to back this up, um, and so you really want to either go for um, fortified uh, foods, like uh, they have some plant milks um, that are right. fortified with B12, some cereals, um, I nutritional yeast, like I said, or a lot of soy products are also fortified with B12. Um, and that's that? really important to get yeah. because B12 mm -hmm. protects your nervous system. Um, it aids in the production of your DNA, your RNA. That's what I need, Scarlett. <laughs> what? That's what I need, Scarlett. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're um, not getting well, any younger here. We, we need all the help we can get. <laughs> yeah, our kids yeah. are aging us fast. Exactly. That's what happens when your kids get taller than you. I know, seriously. My mine oldest is son up is to my, taller than me now. Mine is already up to my shoulder and like it's not even. It's, like it's a, a little traumatizing. Like his favorite thing to do is to stand next to me and just let me know how short I am. And talk in this man voice. Oh yeah, all the time. And then he calls me little mommy. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh no. my goodness. So I just add a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. We're gonna do salt and pepper. And then sesame seeds are at the end, right? To garnish. I believe so. It looks good. This looks yummy already. <sighs> Smells so That's good. That's what I was just oh thinking. Oh my God. All right, so olive oil you first. You can never go wrong with lemon and garlic. I know. No, yummy. It's such a yummy combination. See, th this is what I needed because I don't think of cooking and heartiness and friends. Like, I could do this with my kids. I could do this with my friends. We totally. could hang out and it would still feel like I was not just making salad only. Totally. You know? Exactly. Right. You're not just eating leaves. Exactly. <laughs> Because a lot of it is all the senses and the smells and, you know, how things feel and the whole thing. So I'm going to yeah. plug and this I, I think veganism, veganism has come a long way. Mm -hmm. uh, there's definitely a lot more options available out there. I mean, you can totally. find anything. I've even seen like a vegan tuna, tuna tartare oh. nowadays. <laughs> wow. Can you make so that for me? You find lots of vegan options and alternatives to different foods. So it's not as hard, you know, to go out good. to a restaurant and get Perfect. a vegan meal or, or to find different foods. I improvise foods, little lemon there. Foods, um, yeah. In, in stores or, or anything like that. So it's definitely a little bit easier nowadays than, than it was in the past, I would say. Totally. You know, I actually, um, the recipe that we'll be cooking later on today, I actually um, took a pre-existing recipe and just swapped out some of the ingredients to be vegan, and it turned out really fabulous. Good. Yeah, it was really good, so we don't okay. need that anymore. 
So now we're going to take a, a quick little break because this is going to be loud. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and do that real quick and mix this up. And we need liquid so everybody too, right? Tight. <laughs> What's that? We need liquid too, right? Yeah. So we had a little bit of a, a detour. Um, yeah, this, a little bit, kind of. This is not what you want to use. That is for, not what you want to use. No. So and we this found, is not what you want to use no, either. No, we found a shake shaker, shake mixer. But it's what we had, um, so we had to go with it. And she worked it out. So we've we've got a beautiful mix here. You want to see this? Well, hold on. It's not so beautiful right now. So mix, yeah. <laughs> so, mix but look at that. It almost looks like guacamole. You know what? This is what we it did. Looks, and it smells delicious. So we're going to do this, and we have to add in our protein now. And it tastes now. delicious. She's, she's eating all the... I'm eating over here so it's sanitary. So we're going to add the protein. Do you want to mix that I up? so do. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and put olive oil in here because we're going to get to paint olive oil on top after okay. we do the little muffin Beautiful. things. Yeah. Um, and I think you might have wanted to add some... Um, Salt. Some salt and pepper mm -hmm. to taste. So just to your mm -hmm. liking, um, as you saw her like finger tasting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which I love yeah, to do. Yeah, finger tasting the other thing. Not to. in here, not exactly. in here. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. And let me grab, where okay. is our spray? So we're going to take a nice little cooking sheet like this, little muffin sheet, and spray with some nonstick, awesome. the oh, olive those are, oil. Those are those really cute ones. Totally. So, I'm curious, uh, Scarlett, in each of these little muffin things, um, in these little falafels, how much uh, protein will we be getting in each one? Oh, Do you yeah. know? Estimate? Round? Uh, let's see. I calculated that you get about 16 total falafels, 15 or 16. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's about 20 grams total, so... That's great. What would that be? In one falafel. Mass. No, no, for for all for all wait. Sixteen. It's about forty grams of protein for all sixteen. So I had I okay. have to eat all of them then. That's my so, so you probably like a I don't know. A I, more, a two and a half per each little falafel. Okay. Cool. So, so it's I, kinda like an in between snack. Yeah, or you can make a meal out of it, put it um, over a pita, okay. Ooh, um, put some salad like on top, yeah. and make okay. a falafel pita. Right here, let me help here. Okay. You can make a meal out of it too. Yeah, we're totally getting in the spirit for Thanksgiving I right now. I was just going to say that it feels like a ho little holiday action. I'm going to make this, Scarlett. Awesome. Huh. You can do an appetizer. Yes. You know what? I'm actually going to cook for my mother. She'll be thrilled. I love it. So what else do you like to put with this besides like the pita and stuff like that? Do you um, do you like a rice? Do you do another vegetable side? What's your jam? Um, I personally love the, the falafel inside the pita with mm -hmm. the salad on top. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you yeah. could absolutely do um, it as a side with, with some rice and uh, another vegetable of sorts. Um, Yum yum says the bear. Veggie, mm -hmm. you can put it on a salad. You can top put the falafels on top of the salad itself. Um, there's a lot of options. You just gotta get a little creative. Um, so and, we didn't uh, fully blend the chickpeas because we thought it might be kind of yummy with like yeah. a whole, you know, a whole little bite of chickpea. So we'll little see surprises. How that goes. Yeah, we're getting creative. I love it. She, she approves. Yay! Awesome. You guys, thank you, though, because this has answered a really big question for me. Like, What's your question? Ve to be a vegan, yeah. it is homey. You can cook. It yeah. is fun. There are hearty meals. You do, totally. you know, you can do this with your friends. You can do this with your family. Exactly. And I, I imagine my son would eat this, too. I have a nine-year-old little boy. I'm and thinking he so, would be too chowing down on this. I think my kids would eat this too. I mean, he might be a little weirded out that it's green, but once you taste it, it's delish. Okay, I think. Do we have enough? That's good. Almost. Let's do this. 
Okay. Let's make magic. Woohoo! All right, so once we get these in here, then we get to paint brush some olive oil on top and okay. sprinkle. I have some sesame here seeds. This raw bowl here. Uh -huh. Here's for you. Yummy. And um, you already put salt and pepper in, right? I did. Okay, good. Whew. Um, so I'm just going to take, I put a little bit of olive oil in here. I'm just going to paint. Do you want to go behind me and sesame seed the top? I so do. I, I had a feeling you did. I, I just so do. I had such mm -hmm. a feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to do this really fast. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, these are going to be so cute. I love the look of this. I'm going to do my best to not cut myself right now. Yeah, don't do that. I just got a call from my son's school mm -hmm. and he got hit in the head with a basketball. We don't need another <laughs> chopped off finger or no. something. Thank you. No. And then there was the time that you and I were sitting there talking uh -huh. and then my son broke his finger. So, totally. you know, they do what they do. I mean, we, we have a big job being moms here. You know, it's, um, it's interesting. Like as you try and incorporate some of this healthier food choices, I mean, you're teaching, you're molding mm -hmm. and, and shaping your child for the rest of their mm -hmm. life, you know? And um, Mason actually loves to get in the kitchen with mm -hmm. me. And like, he loves the mixer, of course, because it's mm -hmm. kind of messy. But um, I don't know. What about yeah, your, your boys? Um, they eat anything, actually. They're really, really good. But obviously, they love hamburgers and french fries. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> So what would you say are like the top three go-to um, okay, menu items for kids? Like what is the most popular in your opinion? Uh, to me? Yeah, um, you. I'm going to go ahead oh, and put this in the oven now. Really good question. Since I don't have kids, I'm not really familiar with, with the kids' menu. So I, yeah. I'm not sure, but uh, let's see. Like if you were to um, say that mm -hmm. kids usually gravitate towards, like if you look at the kids' menu, it's a burger, it's mm -hmm. the chicken tenders, it's the mac and cheese plate, it's the, you know, um, what else? Like, uh, I mean, those are, those are some yeah. big ones. What would you replace um, the mac and cheese with as a good substitute item? Um... I mean, a basic peanut butter and jelly sandwich would be great. I think that, yeah. that uh, it's got some protein in there as long as it's on like a whole grain bread of some sorts. I think you're going to get your protein in there. Um, definitely a lot of minerals. You're going to get uh, some sugar from the jelly too. And you definitely need some sugar. Kids need a uh, definitely want some energy for them. I have a question. You yes. know, speaking of being moms, yes. you know, when we go to the restaurants, like on the menu, you generally have like a uh, macaroni and cheese, mm -hmm, chicken mm -hmm. tenders, hamburger, you know, cheeseburger, whatever, spaghetti. Mm -hmm. um, what do you guys think are some healthy options for a vegan choice um, for a child? That's you know no. what? Well, my, we're not vegan yet. Right. Um, but I like when I go out with my kids, we always get you know salads and things mm -hmm. like that, and they're really good with that actually. Yeah. Um, I would say we're getting like the big, ta like a taco salad kind of mm. thing. Again, they're not yeah, vegan, like status, but yeah. it's something fun for them, you yeah. know. And then they they totally. will eat that. And I've noticed that my kids are. I mean, I'm not gonna say healthier than other kids, but they generally don't gravitate towards. Like junk unhealthy, food. yeah. Right, all the time. And I right. I personally don't go to fast food restaurants. That's good. Like at all. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I saw yeah. um I saw this video on YouTube and it was about the pink goo. I'm not gonna go into That's the detail. Awful. But That's you awful. guys should Google it. No, yeah, it was too bad. I've seen so it. Mason gross. saw the video. Gross. My son saw the video and he was like, I will not go to a fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. And he refuses to mm -hmm. go, which is crazy. Mm hmm Yeah, so no pink goo. Yeah, that's, that's really, it's, it's 
a little, it's traumatic when you yeah, think about it. Yeah, it really is. And that's another reason why I've been wanting to go yeah. vegan. I saw, I don't know if you guys seen the videos of like little kids crying because of what they know is happening I to animals, blah, I think blah, I blah. posted that. Did you see mine? You know what? Probably. And it's like, <laughs> the little see, girl was bawling. She was crying. Like, I don't think the animals like to be cooked no, in the oven. No, it made you me know? so I was sad. Like, oh, no, they don't. And to be honest with you, it was that little girl that really yeah. touched me and got me thinking like, I yeah. don't really want to eat meat too much anymore either. Totally. So thank you for showing yes. me how to do this. And this has been great. Like, you know, letting me know because mm -hmm. it started with that little girl who cried and made my mommy heart just like burst and yeah. cry. So this is good because I needed that like practical, how do you, what do you eat? So yeah. thank you, ladies. Yeah, thanks, Scarlett. I was going to add, Tara, you know, one of the biggest or best tips I guess for going vegan is is that you should not go cold turkey mm -hmm. um, okay. that may work for a very small percent mm -hmm. of the population but for most people you know you kind of just have to phase it out start by doing one day where you go with mm -hmm. all meatless mm -hmm. meals and then kind of work your way up um to more days throughout the week where you're having uh, meatless options. Don't just all of a sudden, you know, say from one day to the next, go from going all this meat and not eating anything. Um, because for one, it's going to be probably really overwhelming. Right. Um, and, and you're probably not likely going to stick to it. So I think phasing it out is, is probably the best uh, option mm -hmm. if you're having so reservations yeah. or thinking going vegan one of the uh the mm -hmm. basic meals that i've been leaning towards as a beginner vegan mm -hmm. <laughs> um i started having like a lentil soup with chips can you make that for me right <laughs> I just like, it, comes it comes out, out of a can them, please <laughs> it comes out of a can you know what they have a lot of protein and they also have iron yeah. uh, which is okay. one of the other nutrients that vegans should be mindful of um, because iron from plant foods um, is not absorbed as well as iron from from animal products and yeah. so you really have to be conscientious to get enough okay. um, okay. horses with iron in them and that's going to be things like beans lentils legumes um, mm -hmm. leafy greens um, have a lot of iron in them mm -hmm. one thing that actually helps to absorb the iron is to add uh, citrus vitamin C okay he actually helps the absorption of iron so definitely want to yeah, do add anything like a like a um let's see lemon juice mm -hmm. um, if you were to spritz some lemon juice mm -hmm. on broccoli um or even the lemon juice and the chickpeas actually so the wow. lemon juice that we added to the falafels will help to absorb the iron from the chickpeas mm -hmm. awesome yeah but well, you know what else this is <laughs> <laughs> this is really um, is support being yeah, in a community, having totally. friends, or being on a Facebook page, perhaps, yeah. where there's other people going vegan or doing the same thing. I think, like for me, for instance, I had the question, but I didn't do anything about it until right. here I am now. With Perfect, friends, like girl right? date, exactly. you know, make exactly. a recipe that you haven't tried before, mm -hmm. improvise. Take some recipe that already exists, swap out for vegan, you know, meatless mm -hmm, ingredients. Mm -hmm. No dairy, no meat, and um, it's a good girl thing. It, it is, because yeah. now I'm going to do this. Yeah, so totally. This works. So our falafels are done. Okay, I need to try these. I grabbed these out of the oven, and they look so Scarlet, cute. they look really like good. bite-size deliciousness. Mm. So let's go ahead and awesome. grab a spoon. Oh, awesome. Here you go. Thank you. Scarlet. They're <laughs> really good. But they're really good. So the ideal way to eat this is in like a pita with some tomatoes and stuff like that. Is that? Scarlet, I love these. They're awesome. They're super hot though right now. I know. <laughs> they, super hot. You want to make sure you let them cool down for like a good 10 minutes or something. Don't burn your tongue. No, don't burn your tongue. No, don't burn your tongue. Yeah. So, um, and did you want to talk about... Oh my God. I'm, with a mouthful? I do. I totally, totally do. Well, look at how cute this is. Yeah. So, I love it. Maybe, Easy. Yeah. 
Look at how cute that is. There's for um, you can put your salad dressing or your hummus in here, and or take your it with you. Powder. Or your protein yeah. powder and take it with you. Mhm. Mm because the whole thing is like being a vegan, having your lifestyle be portable and take things with you. Like something like this, you can make your falafels, bring it with you, take it to the park. Mm -hmm. Like, because I know for me, again, it's like, how do you maintain that whole vegan lifestyle? Do, do you have to be with only a dehydrator? Like, how can it be part of your life? Right. You know? Right. And so just put it in a, in a cute, you know, cute little container like this, a cute little growing naturals container like this. I love it. Um, I know. It's, it's actually really super yeah. cute. I like it I mean, it a I lot. love these little compartments. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So to continue learning more about mm -hmm. nutrition and diet and how to go on this path mm -hmm. health-wise, um, Scarlett will be on growingnaturals.com. She's our in-house registered dietitian. So all kinds of information, tidbits, and, and tips to help mm -hmm. you on your path. Mm -hmm. And if you go on GNRecipes.com, there'll be amazing recipes like this and the vegan chili. Yeah, try the falafel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have an awesome community on Facebook, the GN Fit community, for all kinds of tips, hints, recipes, tricks, and people like Heather like and Scarlett and me on there just mm -hmm. to give you support and be friends and say that you can do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. Thanks for joining us. And thank you for going vegan with Growing Naturals. Yeah.